Hello everybody, welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon World. We're back in our campaign park here. And um, from the first episode, we created uh, pretty much what you see here. <laughs> a couple buildings, some a couple flat rides, uh, some stalls, and some scenery around everything just to make everything look very pretty. So I really like adding fences around my areas and stuff like that. Kind of cool. And these arches kind of give it a little nice touch too, I suppose on uh, the right entrances uh, a little bit and the peep sounds are just uh, I don't I don't like them <laughs> all right obviously we're gonna have to add some <laughs> trash cans over here at the park ex or at the right exits So this area of the park is very naked right now. Uh, all I did was connect the pathways, so we might want to go ahead and get into that, uh, or we can go into get, get into our first roller coaster uh, if we would rather do that as well, which I might do that. So click the roller coasters, then click the coaster you want to create. Um, I can do that later if I want, um, but I think I do want to fill this spot up here. Let's see if we have any. I don't have any family rides yet. Uh, Wild Tycoon, we got Circus. Uh, we do have a swing ride. Motion simulator, it looks like. Uh, what would go good go good here? Wild Tycoon Wings. Uh, it would fit, but I would want more on a queue line. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit a ride in here. Circus is too big. The bucking bull. Yeah. Swings might fit. Or not. <laughs> I could make that path a little bit wider so something would fit easier. But uh, I don't think I'm going to. I might I think I'm gonna just add a building instead right here. It could be uh, I don't have a medic stall or a, uh, I do have a mechanic or I could add some or a couple of buildings. Uh, or just some scenery items, you know, which would kind of look good with it. Or I could just wait on it and uh, see what happens. So, <laughs> and actually build like a first roller coaster or something. So let's do that. Right now we only have a hyper coaster, wooden coaster, spinning coaster, and that's it. So you do have to unlock stuff as you do go along, and uh, like campaign mode and stuff, which is kind of neat. Uh, as for this first roller coaster, the coaster stations are massive, um, so they do take a, up a lot of your park, and you got to keep that in mind. So I'm thinking about almost putting a diagonally here, uh, possibly. We'll see, and just take up this area of the park over here. That's uh, what I'm thinking. I could put it. Uh, at a perfect, uh, perfect over here. Put it on grid, possibly. I might do it. Put it right here. Yeah, we'll put it right here. All right, so that's the front of the coaster. <clears throat> this is the end of the coaster, and we can make that work. So first thing I'm going to do is get all this crap out of my way. Because yes, it is in my way. I create my own forests, okay. Nice open space to make this roller coaster. It's gonna be a very basic woody, so uh, we'll make it a very basic one. So let's get this started. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I want to create this lift hill. I don't know if the lift is actually selected. I've never gotten it to do it successfully. So 
So we'll make it... It's not going to be super tall. Maybe one more. 138 feet sounds good. Um, as you can see, it didn't do the, the lift. I've, I've always had to actually go here, select each piece, and do it myself. I haven't found out a way to actually do it uh, any other way. But, oh well. It's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to add a new piece. Okay, so I kind of want to add a little bit of a pre-drop here. I guess we'll have to go to standard track since now it's... There we go. And we'll go lower it down just a pinch with a slight bend. Make this kind of even as we ascend into our first drop. We will go up just a, just a pinch, go back to zero degrees just to get to our first drop. Go out to about right here. I usually like to keep the grid on uh, most of the time to try and get uh, that straight track. How about this music, though? <laughs> Don't really care for it, honestly. All right, so we got our first drop. <clears throat> We don't have a ton of room to work with here. Alright, so I'm going to if I go right here. Should I do a turn yet? Or I can just create another or another airtime hill. That's what we'll do. We'll create another airtime hill. Go about 99 feet. I mean, I could expand the park, which would cost me, I think, like $8,000. I don't know if I want to do that yet. It's finally nighttime. How about we have it twisted this way? Do it. It won't work. That's yeah, too much of a bend there. Got an idea. Maybe it'll be kind of cool to create this. Uh, Everything's in an invalid location. Alright, so that's not going to work. In fact, now that I think of it, let's charge more at the entrance. Let's raise it to 10 bucks. That way we make more money in our park. While we create this coaster, because you don't actually have to pay for your coaster uh, until you actually finish it. So that's kind of an interesting little deal there. Dang it. 
don't want to make it so sharp, you know? And that would be alright. Downwards this way. Rotate this back to zero. We have kind of a neat drop, and it's not going to be straight back and forth. We kind of got this little diagonal piece that goes over here. So that'll work with us. We're gonna have another full airtime hop here. Goes around 80 some feet. Alright, is that straight right there? I want to make it look like a nice hill there. That's a good hill. This will look cool from a distance. As I want something that looks good. That is what I'm going for. My pads are very messy. Go 80 feet here and we'll curve it around. I want to curve it here. On the inside, it'll look really cool. And it's gonna be a tight turn if I can't get it right. Waiting in line for the best merry-go-round. Consider adjusting station times or hiring more entertainers. I'm sorry. How about we have a have a overbanked turn going over the lift? I'll take care of my peeps' complaints later. Okay, I'm building a roller coaster. That way, they'll stop complaining. are very messy, huh? Well, tell them to stop puking and littering my park and we wouldn't have this issue. I'm just gonna put that out there, okay? Alright, let's put 
this around here. How this is going. This is gonna be a cool ride. Let's straighten around right here. Back to zero. And we're gonna head back towards the station, and I think we got a pretty good ride. Airtime hops going in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a very straight, uh, you know, not a lot of diagonal pieces to it, but uh, I actually think it turned out pretty, it's turning out pretty nicely, so. You know, it's a lot straight, and you know, I mean, there is a slight diagonal spot right here, but. I mean, it'll work. It doesn't look too bad. I do like this curve right over the... Or this bank right over the uh, lift hill. It's kind of a neat little feature. Very little thing. It's going to cost us over $10,000, so we might have to make a little bit more money. A little tiny bit more money before we can actually open it up. Let's see if the more you zoom in, the more you can... Closer with the uh, with the uh, grid. That's the word I'm looking for. So I'm always concentrated on what I'm doing. That way I, I create something decent, you know, rather than something sucking. So let's start. Oops. I did not want to do that. Start curve into the curving our way to the station here. We'll go back to zero right there and create some. Create some straight pieces. Which we'll make uh, break sections out of. And that's not how I want that, so we're going to edit this piece here. can't add a node in that spot, so I might go ahead and delete that one, and uh, that will probably be alright. So we'll make this a uh, break section uh, as well. It actually goes upwards right here. What is the height on this? 15 feet. Why don't we make sure that this is 15 feet before we get into the, uh... Before we get into the break run. That way. It's perfect right there. And hopefully they fix this end piece to where... Uh, they're supported. I don't like how it's just like that. <laughs> kind of bugs me. It's just the little things, though. Usually the brake force is a little high. So we'll turn that down. 
Not sure we'll make it through. And we, uh, yeah, there's our first roller coaster that we are gonna go ahead and try and uh, test. Well, actually, it's not test. Let's go back to the drawing boards here and take a look at the train. <laughs> what kind of trains are there? We got the red. I like the red. That's mine cars, western cars. Kind of cool. How many trains are I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of one, and that would be good. As for colors, uh, I want the wood color to it, so... Um, we'll keep it the way it is, and we'll test it. Let's take a look at how it goes. Sounds on the roller coasters aren't too bad in the game. That's a pretty good lift hill sound, I think. I don't care for the wooden uh, coaster lift hill. I mean, that is not a good catwalk <laughs> at all. Or railings. The rails are way too short and everything. I mean, I just don't find it believable. That's, that's the problem. Again, sorry if the recording is dropping frames more than what it should. It's not as bad, or it's not too bad. So far, it's pretty smooth. That was what I was really going for. Yeah. I'm actually fairly impressed of how this has gone so far. around a little bit probably in that curve but a lot of airtime hills still have quite a bit of speed at the end there we're gonna need more brake uh, I'd say we need to add a little bit more brake force on that wow I didn't think it would be going that fast to be honest well let's see how the intensity is see if that really affects it Hopefully the intensity isn't too bad. But it did pass. So the intensity, of course, is Ultra Extreme 2407. Are you kidding me? What is this, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1? Nausea, Ultra Extreme. Okay. Okay. This is the part where I get so upset. Because no one's going to ride the ride. Safety is very high. Nausea is uh, ultra extreme. The intensity is way ultra extreme. Like, I don't see what's so ultra extreme about it. Um, there are a spot where we can see the test results here, yeah. Alright, so speed. It's definitely not on speed. It's only in about the yellows, the high as it gets. Um, lateral force. Why can't I click on these? There we go. Um, lateral force. So definitely at the end, and in some of these curves, it's kind of intense. So we might see if we can adjust these nodes, possibly. Maybe make them a little wider, and that might help. Uh, making the ride overall a little bit smoother. The uh, vertical force. Um... Doesn't seem too bad. The excitement. Uh, the intensity. Which is ultra extreme. I'm not seeing why this is 24 right now. I don't understand why this is 24. I'm not seeing too much orange except for at the bottom of this hill for some random reason. The first drop is pretty ultra extreme. Probably, I guess, because it's high speed. I don't know. <laughs> So I find it very interesting that the intensity was that high. As for nausea, bottom of that hill, mostly these turns, 
Um, I'm not sure if Guess will write it if it's uh, this intense, so... Or that ultra extreme, because I know in the older games, that was too high for them. And uh, I don't know why the excitement is so low. Like, that just kind of makes me upset, too. I, I was thinking it was pretty good. I mean, uh, maybe a couple of adjustments to make it a little less... Um, to make it a little less, uh, make it a little better here, but I'm gonna take the grid off and go freeform here. I don't know, I just don't know. I, maybe I need to make this one a little wider. That might help a little bit. Maybe just a little. I don't know, we can see if guests will write it. I'm not sure, they probably won't. We'll retest it. I'll start building the queue, regardless. Snapping on. the asphalt. Oh, I broke the game. It's frozen. Oh, there it goes. Problem. Let's see if we can't get a curved path Going from here. It did pass, but the intensity did not change. The safety actually went down a little bit. I don't know. Well, we'll open it and see how it does. Um, how much is it going to cost? 11800 We do have enough, but I just don't know if it's going to pay off. We'll even turn the price down a little bit. We'll call it... Uh, da, da. Uh, da, da, da. Wildwood. Why not? Because I'm not good at names. <laughs> Alright, let's add some scenery around it. See if we can't boost the excitement a little bit. Those guys going to ride it? Well, they're getting in line at least. So they will at least ride it. I don't know why the intensity is so high, but... Let's add some trees around the area. We 
true fork value has reached ten thousand dollars. Sweet. Some oak trees in here as well. Supposed to be a forest, so lots of trees are needed. So it only goes on the station. Shouldn't that go for the entire ride? It should help the excitement for the entire ride if it's around the ride, you know? I don't know. I have snapping on, that's why it's so weird. Guess write it and pay for it. I don't care. That's, that's the main thing, right? Because it's going to be the most popular ride on park. I'm sure of it. See, the trees did make the excitement go up just a little bit. Not a whole lot, but I'll take it more than better than anything. All right, we're gonna add some bushes around here as well. These are tiny. Something bigger in here. I like these. The park is too crowded. See, that's how popular I am. That's how popular we are already. That is how popular we are. Alright. Making this coaster better. What scenery. Because scenery makes everything look better. It actually does. Gosh dang, I didn't want you to delete coaster supports for that. Darn it. That's lame. gonna bug me until I fix this part, you know? I can't get rid of it unless I do that and delete that note. Okay. You can open it back up. Wildwood is back open for business. Alright, we're gonna uh, get some more janitors in this. This area. Look at him glide. Yeah, you got a lot of work to do, man. Come on, there's trash cans in the area. Why do you gotta be like that? Alright, so let's get another 
Let's get a building in here. We need to get some entertainers. Let's get some more janitors. <laughs> Snapping on. I want to put it in a different vicinity here. There we go. Let's get three of them. That way, there's plenty. Oh my gosh! Look at them all. It's a weird looking owl, and I don't know what this alien thing is. I don't have any sci-fi themes, so it's, it's kind of creepy. But, okay. Alright, let's add some scenery around this roller coaster. Can't go wrong with the maple trees. Maybe some flowery trees. How oh, awesome. And some Douglas Spurs, uh, I guess. Possibly. I don't know. But um, this episode's actually gone on longer than I thought it was. I did not realize that. So, well, you got yourself a nice long episode. Uh, but we got our first coaster that actually turned out pretty nicely. And um, not caring for the the, uh, the, result, the results that came out of it. Uh, overall, but it looks kind of neat on the side of the park. So I uh, uh, hope you guys liked it And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow and goodbye <laughs>